Good evening on this New Year's Eve. Let's take a moment to give thanks to God for the year past and for the year coming. Let us pray. Eternal God, you have placed in us a world of space and time. Through the events of our lives, you bless us with your love. Grant that in the new year, we may know your presence, see your love at work, and live in the light of the event that gives us joy forever. The coming of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the 21st chapter of Revelation. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty... I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. The book of Revelation was written to a people who were under persecution, living in times of tribulation. They found it difficult to hang on to their faith. They wanted assurance. And John, who wrote the book of Revelation, gave them this assurance that God would indeed be with them. It's been a rough year for us. It is as if we have been living through a time of tribulation with the pandemic. I remember how excited I was when I heard the news that the vaccines that are being developed were over 90% effective. And then when they were authorized and the vaccinations have started taking place. The pandemic will end in this next year. It might take six months or more, but this next year will be a new year a new time. I give thanks to God for the technology, for the nurses and the doctors and the scientists and the technicians and Operation Warp Speed that helped to develop the vaccine. It is such a relief. The world is being made new, it seems. The world is going to be transformed. Now we'll go back to our routines in many ways, but so much has changed, so much will be new. And I pray that you take this opportunity to remember your baptism. That as we are baptized, that Christ is making us new, creating faith in us. And as we remember the promises made to us in baptism, we know that the past does not hold us back. But God opens for us a bright future. The day will come when Christ will come again with the new heaven and the new earth. And God's, God's self will be among us. But in this new year, let us open our eyes to see God present. Present in this waiting time as we wait for the vaccination and the pandemic to end. Present as we open up our lives once again. Look for God present in those places where you gather once again with people. Look for God present when you gather once again freely with your family. Look for God present when you gather once again in worship. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, that you indeed do come to us and you are making all things new. Continue to make us new that we may be transformed into your likeness and be Christ to our neighbor, that we may look upon this new year and as the pandemic ends, Give thanks to God, but also open our eyes to what is new before us. For it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. God bless you, and Happy New Year.